Today is March 1st, 2023. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good rotation of the earth. Welcome to the world crown. May the peace of the Holy Spirit be with you. Welcome to segment two of our three-part World Crown presentation for the month of March 2023. I pray for each nation to find the solutions they need to work closer together with us. I pray the Holy Spirit to guide you every day in every phase and aspect of the committees you have created in response to our current rising of providence in each nation. Police, government, and the military are also alerted and advised to be ready at all times. This is because a judgment of God is in effect and we have to always be ready for anything. We used to publish a calendar page in the past. In the year 2019, we began studying all the world's calendar days and settled on a simple calendar until the news and information emergency is over. When the news and information emergency is over, we will get together in a new United Nations and discuss which calendar days will be featured at the World Crown for each nation. This month's calendar section features calendar, the Fool's Warning, March, Zodiac, Marriages Section, Flowers, and the Blessing. Welcome to our calendar section. A smile is brought to my face every time I work on calendar with my Holy Spirit, who reminds me of the past and how religious angels are with their calendars. The Holy Spirit reminds me that angels are natural spiritual beings who make their calendars joyous and heavy with symbolic meaning. This calendrical character that angels have is subtly psychological and spiritual residue of many lifetimes living between heaven and earth. Angels bless and love their calendars, many without even knowing that they are doing that. If everything was destroyed, men and women would still look up to the stars and start their lives all over again, beginning with the calendar. Mastering the seasons and the harvest has brought us far. In the month of March, there are many things to do. Our calendar will not include everything. As I stated, the World Crown calendar is a working calendar. It is very basic and works while we remain in a state of readiness, working every day and hoping and praying for a good judgment every day. The judgment of God is good fortune for us. Without it, this world would be filled with very bad things. Okay, next section, March calendar. March 1st, first day of March. It's our first calendar day. March 5th is Energy Efficiency Day. March 8th is International Women's Day. March 15th, Consumer Rights Day. March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. March 20th, the first day of spring, also called Prima Corda, Prima Aquinati, or Aquinati Unum. This is further explained below. March 21st, Equality Day. March 26th, the last Sunday of the month 
a day of thanksgiving. Section 2.6.1, the fool's warning. Every month there is a fool's warning. We don't want to include it on our calendar, but maybe it might be a good idea to place it on the first of every month. May you be blessed in the month of March. In the month of March, there are always events and festivals to attend and some to avoid. But the Fool's Feast will be judged by God. I don't want to describe the Fool's Feast, but they are very secretive and not many people are invited. The Fool's Feast is not a good thing or a place to be. I welcome you to the month of March. 2023. March always feels to me like it should be the first day of spring. But astronomically speaking, spring begins Monday, March 20th. Not to forget the Southern Hemisphere. I'm going to create a universal way to address the seasons so no one feels left out. And which at the same time does not confuse people who are accustomed to the seasons of their hemisphere. During the news and information emergency, I will refer to each season generically as a quarter. There is a first quarter, a second quarter, a third quarter, and a fourth quarter. To add a little bit of style and elegance, I have come up with the following suggestions. Should anyone decide they want to use these? This is not mandatory, but it is official. Spring. March 20th is Prima Corda, the first quarter. I will also refer to it as the first equinox. Prima Aquinocti or Aquinocti Unum. These are two ways of saying the same thing. This is the universalist way of greeting each other on this day. Both Northern and Southern hemispheres agree that we are in equinox, no matter what season it is in either hemisphere. Summer. June 21st is the second quarter of the year, or doxime quarter, if we want something fancy to say. I will also refer to the second quarter as prima solstice, the first of two official solstices. People in the northern and southern hemispheres will both agree that we are in solstice, no matter what season it is in either hemisphere. Fall. September 23rd occurs in the third quarter of the year. I like the term Trinity or Trinity Cordium as an alternative way to describe fall. The third quarter falls in the second official equinox, Doxime Equinox in French. Aquinoctium diox, or Aquinocti secundus in Latin. Again, people in the northern and southern hemispheres will agree that we are in equinox no matter what season it is in either hemisphere. Winter. December 21st begins in the fourth quarter. I will call it quartum. For you who need universalism in your lives, the second of two solstices begins December 21st. In French, it is the doxime solstice, the second solstice. Using this method, people in the northern and southern hemispheres will agree but we are again in solstice, no matter what season it is in either hemisphere. Lastly, I will add that I also considered starting the quarters at the beginning of the year, 
but we have more than two interpretations of the new year. And since there is no debate as to where we are in our orbit around the sun, the quarters run much nicer when we run them concurrently with the equinoxes and the solstices like we do the seasons in the northern and southern hemisphere. Let's go over them again. We'll make it even more simple. Number one, the first quarter starts in the first equinox, March 20. Second quarter starts in the first solstice, June 21, this year. The third quarter starts in the second equinox, September 23. The fourth quarter starts in the second solstice, December 21. That is all. May the Holy Spirit attend to your prayers and supplications. These are days of joy and celebration for some and days of sorrow for others. May the blessing of the Holy Spirit strengthen you and comfort you. Zodiac, section 2.8.1. We begin the month in the sign of Pisces and end in the sign of Ram or Aries. Our calendar represents the oldest and most ancient of beliefs related to the earth as a mother and a holy spirit, a provider of food and water which comes from the sky and from the soil. The calendar and its symbols are the oldest and most rustic of early religion. In every month of our monthly calendars are signs, an inescapable series of symbols, and many versions and variations of the same calendrical faith exist in nations around the world. The symbols of our calendars remind us to give thanks for the fertility and sustenance of the earth and the sea. They also contain symbols of divine judgment. The judgment of God has long been a part of our calendrical lives. The night skies are filled with your prayers from all your past lives. They are charted in the stars and blessed unto heaven. Blessed is our Holy Spirit to whom we lift up our prayers high in the sky. Our God has always been Holy Spirit, who without gender became the first man and woman to give life to our souls, to live with us, to die with us, and also to be born again with us. Blessed is our God, who brings forth bread from the earth, and every fruit from its vine, and all things that are good to eat. Blessed is our God, who has no name, but who is loved by many. Marriages, section 2.9.1. Throughout history, in every rising of providence, we rededicate our lives and our nations back to our Holy Spirit. It is a process in which it is customary to repent and to pray daily for wisdom and guidance while we reunite our souls back with our Creator. A marriage with the Holy Spirit is a marriage of faith. It is a marriage above all marriages. In a life of faith, we endeavor always, and though we may sometimes fail God in our commitments to faith, the Holy Spirit will never fail us. The Holy Spirit is like a good husband or a good wife who never gives up caring for us or loving us. Last year, we started a tradition to pray for all marriages physically from the world crown with our eyes closed, not desiring to disappoint our Holy Spirit, whose love confounds the mind and is greater than all of us put together. Let each marriage be honest. Honesty is strength to any relationship. I pray that no one fail in their marriage 
but in all things. Remember to share your love and commitment to God with each other. I pray that the Holy Spirit strengthen you well into your old age, encourage you every day of your lives, and multiply your wisdom. May our precious, tender Holy Spirit help you in your marriages today and every day of your lives. May you also learn to judge and correctly apply the institution of marriage in your lives and in each of your nations to invoke the greatest blessing from our Holy Spirit. Humans are responsible for how they bless or curse their lives, for how they shape morality, right or wrong. Section 2.10.1, Flowers. Flowers make great gifts. Whether you get them for free or from nature or buy them, there must be feeling behind the acquiring of flowers, for whatever reason. Each flower in this world has good and positive meaning. Avoid the dark definitions of flowers and embrace only the good. This month's flower is a little daisy from the Asturse family. This little sun worshiper is featured at the Huntington Library. It is called Vicaris salicfolia. Chateau Versailles Gardens are still open to the general public unless otherwise announced. That ends the second half of our program. I thank the Holy Spirit for being able to provide it for you. In closing, I again pray for your health and for every country. I want to encourage you to take care of your health and to breathe fresh air every day. I want to encourage you to be kind to each other and to help each other. May the prayers of those who are struggling for answers be answered by the Holy Spirit with all diligence and priority. If you are struggling in your marriage commitment, I pray my Holy Spirit give you the wisdom to decide what is best for your lives and to help you and all those affected by your marriages to find solutions to sometimes difficult problems where there is physical separation or divorce from marital partners, let there be no separation from the Holy Spirit, who is with you always, in good times and in bad, in sickness and in health. Special prayer for all animals, livestock and domestic animals. May the Holy Spirit give our domestic animals long, healthy lives and keep our livestock thriving and healthy. My peace I give you. May the peace of the Holy Spirit of God that surpasses all understanding be with you always. May the good people be blessed and saved every day. Have a great month of March, 2023. We welcome you to join us for our Judgment Liturgy, which is coming up next.